Welcome to The Anxious Morning. Every weekday morning, we'll take a few minutes to go over some important lessons that you can use in your anxiety recovery journey. Away from the endless, noisy scroll of social media, The Anxious Morning brings you support, education, inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment. For more, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. Learning about anxiety and recovery is certainly important. We seek out and consume words, sounds, videos, and images that teach us about the nature of anxiety, fear, and getting better. In 2022, there's no shortage of that just a few taps away on the device you have in your hand right now. This is a good thing. We call this psychoeducation. It's a critical component in recovery, especially when one is just getting started down the path. A good therapist or counselor will make it a point to provide plenty of psychoeducation in early sessions because knowing and understanding is an important first step in recovery. First step. Almost nothing in life gets done with just one step. Seeking and learning might be your first step, but they are absolutely not the only step. In my opinion, they are not even the most important step in the end. It's time for another word from my old friend Seneca. You know I dig him and the rest of the great Stoic philosophers. Seneca said, We should hunt out the helpful pieces of teaching and the spirited and noble-minded sayings which are capable of immediate practical application, not far-fetched or archaic expressions or extravagant metaphors and figures of speech, and learn them so well that words become works. Seneca tells us that we should go out and find helpful teachings, but he is also telling us that once we learn them, they are best serving us when they become more than just words. They become works, actions, behaviors. This rings very true in the case of anxiety recovery. You can read every word I ever write on this topic, but until those words become works in your own life, they will tend to remain meaningless, even if you find them profound. Learn the words, then allow them to become works. Make time for seeking and learning, then make time to develop systems of doing and experiencing. Go do recovery. Have the experiences you need to have. Let your seeking systems, the learning foundation, guide you through those experiences. When you do this, seeking, learning, doing, and experiencing become enmeshed. They grow organically together when we practice taking action. It is true that recovery is about learning and understanding, but recovery is also about making behavioral change. When we allow the words we seek to become the works we do, good things happen. Those crazy Stoics, they knew a few things even about recovery. We'll start next week with a discussion on how to use or throw away the heart rate monitor on your wrist. Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast and you'd like to get a copy of it delivered every morning into your email inbox, including a full text transcription, head on over to the anxious morning dot email and sign up for the newsletter. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify or someplace where you can leave us a rating or a review, take a moment and rate the podcast and maybe write a small review. It really helps us out or just tell a friend about us. Thanks a lot.